Hello everyone and welcome to yet another video that I'm still recording in the same block of videos. I think this is fourth or fifth video I've recorded in the last, I don't know, however long I've been recording. Not important. Let's talk about Arena because recently in the Japanese side we have gotten seven stars. We've gotten super TMRs. So what is Arena like? What has Arena shaped into? Is Arena worse than it was before? Yes and no. There is definitely a been a surge in the quality of units that you come across in Arena. As a matter of fact, it's very regular to see seven stars. For instance, this party, there is a seven star right there and a seven star right there. But have they made a big, big difference? Not as much as Super TMRs have. For instance, Renault's Super TMR is pretty easy to get because of the step-up banner that happened in the past and everyone was going hard for Squall. But what about characters like Ayaka? Well, Ayaka's big th feature in Arena has always been her stop protection as well as some people have been douchey enough to give her What's that thing called? Oh yes, evasion. However, now with her own TMR equipped, it actually has kind of made things better in a way because, for instance, my regular Ayaka here has about 8,000 HP. But by equipping her own TMR, it gives her regeneration, but it also gives her this. As you can see, this blue bar is an HP barrier. And it's about 2,000 HP, but it's a materia slot taken up by her TMR. And the simple fact about this is it can be dispelled, basically making it useless. So is it e really even all that hard to kill units in Arena? Uh, depending on your setup and decent amount of chaining, no, no it is not, as you can see right here. That's that side, that side. I have to remember that it's on the opposite side of what I'm doing, which I am thinking of making a brand new layout for this. You know, new year, need a new layout. But the question of whether Arena is more difficult than what it has been in the past, uh, not really. More restrictions that stop me from using Runera, which brings me to my point about arena really it is just about magic chaining now on the japanese side it is the most reliable way to get around arena units it is the most reliable way to get around pains in the butt and yes ayaka is still the most invaluable unit but with that being said i would like to actually put in a vote of confidence to the second most useful unit in arena Noctis. Noctis may... a lot of people have been saying on GL side were pretty disappointed with Noctis's 7 star. And the fact is is that Noctis's 7 star is insane in Arena because of this one ability. His 120 MP ability multi-uses his flasks. If you thought encountering a fire or a ice flask in Arena was bad, Try encountering them multiple times. Here, one, two, three, four, so four flasks in a turn, and particularly in that case, it was fire and ice, the two worst ones to encounter. So I want to bring up this really quickly to talk about Noctis's ability. There we go. Because I haven't done a review of Noctis's 7 star, but I intend to in the future, as soon as I get through a backlog of stuff I've been intending to do. Alright, so Noctis. What's the really big deal about this ability? when I find it. So it randomly uses a 25% chance of four different abilities. So there are four possible outcomes for 120 MP. Either you get two, three, four, or five hits of the fire, ice, thunder 
hybrid attacks, with the worst case scenario being four random status effects at 40% for all ailment status effects, or a 50% chance three turn stop or AOE three turn, or and AOE three turn minus 45% magic and spirit. Granting an ability, but really at this point it doesn't particularly matter after that much damage. And with any kind of chaining, it basically makes it very, 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 very powerful. So in a lot of cases in Arena, Ayaka is the most uh, one you see. And I would still rate Ayaka as the most valuable Arena unit by far. But you also still see parties of 6-star units with some 7-stars peppered in because units like Ash are still very valuable. However, for my third most valuable unit in Arena, I have to give it to Lunara or Rem. Rem's ability that she has had from her Materia is still invaluable, basically crippling an enemy team by taking all of their MP like so. Although, maybe not so much Ayaka if she has a high enough spirit. But, Runera's wind and light chaining just is... Well, as you've seen in this video, does a ton, ton, ton of damage. And of course, yes, I do have basically a party of all seven stars except my Ayaka. But even 6-star Lunara would still pretty much cut it. It's just 7-star is a little more safe. So has the 7-star made a huge difference in Arena and how difficult it is? No, it's the same dirty tricks, just with different amounts. If anything, I think that I the Ayaka thing is hilariously the opposite. By taking away from her evasion slot possibilities, you actually... And, and equipping her TMR to get that stupid HP barrier, which can just be dispelled. Kinda made Ayaka worse in Arena, which I'm going to count my lucky stars for. So that's all for this video. I hope this has given you a kind of an idea of what the Japanese Arena has become with the addition of the 7 star. Is it really more difficult? No. But again, you want the exact same things all the time. Ayaka is the most valuable, Noctis probably the most second valuable, Rem with her M, uh, MP drain, or Lunara, or some wind chaining unit for your third place. Yeah, that's how you make a good arena team on the Japanese side, by spending lots of money. Pay to win! Pay to win! See you all in the next video.